now i will move to area and parameter for complex shapes complex shapes are more than one shape together they might be inside each other or next to each other if they are next to each other you add them for the area if they are inside each other you subtract them so for parameter you need to add the sides around like 9 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 the answer would be in feet but for the area i cannot do the area or calculate the area here unless i split it into two shapes so i split it already for you if you see this dotted yellow line so now i have two areas two rectangles the first rectangle the length is five the width is two so area one is five times two and the second rectangle uh, has the length of six and the width is four so six times four is 24 so I would say area 1 plus area 2. So 2 times 5 plus 6 times 4. The answer is 34 feet squared. For parameter, I just added all the sides and I got 30 feet. The second example, it's a complicated shape, I know. Please just split it into shapes that are familiar to you. Like for example here, if I split it the way that it's shown on the screen now by drawing those red lines, you will have three shapes, rectangle and rectangle and a triangle. Now it's easier for you. So I would say area one plus area two plus area three to get the total area. Area one, the length is 10, the width is five. So 10 times five is 50 inch power two. Area two, the length is seven, the width is, I don't know, how to find the width. Look at this long line, 10 inches, right? And the opposite line is six. So that means six, how much do I need more to make it 10? So four, so this red line is four because I said 10 minus six. So from up to down is 10, the whole thing is 10 because every two opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So since this is 10, that means the opposite one is 10 minus six, so the rest is four so this one is four if i move it to the other side again it will be four so the width of the rectangle number two is four the length is seven so seven times four is 28 now the width which is four here in the triangle here in the left on the left side the triangle has it as a height why because it's 90 degrees here so this is the height so and the base how to find the base the whole line down is 15 inches right so you see this five inches up if you move it here opposite side it will be five and do you see this number this seven inch here move it to the opposite side it will be seven so here i have five and here i have seven how did i know that this is five from here to here because shape number one is a rectangle so every opposite sides are congruent so since this width is five that means the other width is five how did i know that uh, here from here to here is seven in the rectangle number two the length is seven so opposite side is seven so from here this line to this from this red line to this red line it's seven so I have five, then I have seven. Now, my job is to find the rest. Since the whole thing is 15, minus five is 10, minus seven is three. So the base of this triangle is a three. How did I know? I subtracted 15 minus five minus seven, so I got three. Now I have the base is a three, the height is four, as I mentioned here, four, four. So base times height divided by two, three times four is 12, divided by two is six inch power two. Now, to calculate the the whole, the total area, I need to add area one plus area two plus area. Three. So I said area one plus area two plus area three. For area 3, 3 times 4 divided by 2, base times height divided by 2. For area 2, length times width, so 7 times 4. For area 3, uh, area 1, the first one, length times width, so the length is 10, the width is 5, 10 times 5. The answer is 48 inch power 2. One more example, this one is already split for you into a rectangle and a trapezoid, right? So for the rectangle, the length is 8, the width is 4. So 8 times 4, that's very easy for you. For the trapezoid, the base number 1 is 14. The base number 2 is 8. The height is 4. So the area is 8 plus 4. So I add the bases. Then I will multiply by the height, then divide by. So base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by. Now area 1 plus area 2. So the area of the trapezoid is 8 plus 14 times 4 divided by 2. Plus area 2 is length times width 8 times. So the answer is 76 feet power 
2. Now, what about this complex figure? I have half circle inside a rectangle. So I want you to calculate the area, the shaded area, the area of this color uh, shape. So I want the shaded area only, which is the whole rectangle minus the semicircle, which is half circle. What about the perimeter? The perimeter here represents the sum of all the sides of the shaded shape. So 6 plus 10 plus 6 plus the length of this arc, which is half the circumference, because I don't need the whole thing, the whole circumference of the circle. I want half of it. So I will need to divide the circumference of the circle by 2, or I just need to multiply by half. So I said 6 plus 10 plus 6 plus this one. How to calculate this arc, the length of it? It's half of the circumference of the circle. It's half of the circumference. So half times 2 pi r times 2 times 3.14 times the circle, which is 5. So the answer is 59.7 units. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. It's your turn now.